Ah, oh, you finally decided to join us, Watson. Hello, all you happy people. This is the Rock Shifter, and can you guess what we're playing? That's right, we're playing A Testament of Sherlock Holmes. In the last episode, uh, we compared a bunch of stuff, the rat killer escaped, you know, that kind of stuff. And now we're looking for a mobile soup cart. In this episode, well, that's what we're doing. We're looking for a mobile soup cart. Soup cart. Um, so, what am I looking for? Mobile soup cart? Is that the soup cart? Nothing of interest here. Uh, apparently there's nothing of interest over there. So, let's go find this mobile soup cart. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Do you know where the mobile soup cart is, sirs, madams, sirs, madams? Oh, is that a soup cart? Dude, are you a soup cart? I don't know what a soup cart looks like. What's that? I guess I'll talk to this guy first. Oi, oi. We're giving out free soup off the mat. Yeah, you right are. Here. Don't hesitate. Come get yours. All thanks to Prince Woodville's kind generosity. Prince Woodville's? Who's Prince Woodville? Excuse me, my good fellow. You don't look like the needy. We're not here for the soup. We are merely passing through. Dude, but accept the soup. I would like to commend you for your good charity. Nah, it's the Prince of Woodville who's a charitable one. And you met him a jerk to give to the poor. I'm also too poor to give to the poor. Look around you at every street corner. You'll find someone giving out soup just like me. I grew up here, and I can promise you. It's the first time the Toffs have thought about us. And no one tries to take advantage of this? No, mister, that's not possible. You have to exchange a ticket against the bowl. The tickets have the day's date on them, and are handed out after mass. That way no one can cheat. <laughs> yeah, sure. Nobody can cheat oh, my ass. bacon soup isn't for you, gentlemen. We're looking for two people called Grape Ape and Kurtz. You know <laughs> grape ape. You grape ape. Grape ape. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. Well, apparently he was useless to us. Uh, I want to see what this thing is. Holmes, the man from the soup kitchen isn't only in voluntary service. Look. A money game. A money game? Oh, he's a gambling man. Okay. So, can I analyze this? Circulating soup kitchen. I have to say, that's pretty cool. I would I would own a soup cart. What should we do next, Holmes? Uh, I don't know. What should we do next, Watson? Aren't you going to leave me alone? Come on. Ah, the money game. Here we go. You again. You can't have any soup. You're too rich. <laughs> For the poor, not the toffs. And what oh, you I am not a toff. I'm not blind and control earth. By giving them a chance at dice. <laughs> With great pleasure. What do you want to bet? Your ring against my friend's superb silver watch. <laughs> Holmes, I inherited this watch from my brother. It has a great sentimental value. Ah, uh, yeah, so sentimental Let's that Holmes is just going to give it up. Make yourselves at home. Oh, wonderful. All right, mister. First who gets 36 points wins. Oh, God. Um, Watson, I am so sorry. You're going to lose your watch, and I completely missed everything. What'd that say? By rolling a die, you must reach 36 points in order to win. If your die shows the skull. Oh, God. Oh, God. Apparently, this game is so tiring okay all your points for the move are lost okay what do I do okay so I got two points ah I got sculled All right, so I got to beat 11. What the W fuck? A 
Okay, I think I'm going to lose, Watson. I'm sorry. Yay! <laughs> so... It's all a game of chance, right? I don't... Damn it! I should have just rolled one more time. Shit. Get a skull, you bastard! Yes! I win! Damn it! <laughs> oh no. No. Get a skull. Get a skull, you bastard. Alright. What the hell? This game. No. No. You get a skull right now. Without success, Holmes. Oh. Apparently, I guess I get more chances. Get a skull. Jerk. You need to get a skull right now. Alright, I need six. Yeah, bitch. That's what you get. Yeah, it only took me three times, Are you Holmes. Leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? I won. We win. Hey, not so fast. We'll play a game. <laughs> Out of the question. You have lost. You owe me your ring. Oh, it means a lot to me, this ring. My dad gave it me before he died. Oh, he proposed. He choked on his own glass eye. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did he have a glass himself. eye in his mouth? I'm smashing her head open. What? And she'd only just heard that my sister, who's a prostitute, had caught an embarrassing disease that made all her hair fall out. What? And worse, a dog got run over when he... As this ring holds such sentimental value for you, I will allow you to keep it. What would you say to exchanging that against some information about Grape Ape? Oh, that Holmes, like you sly son of a bitch. Yeah. Grape Ape works with us. He usually deals with the tickets, but we haven't seen him for a few days. Probably because he's Where dead. Where is he usually to be found? Or he's killed well, somebody. Last time I saw him, he was with his mates from the dispensary. Then the deal with the mall. Now that's all I know. It is quite good enough. Keep your ring, my good man, as a souvenir of your poor father. A souvenir of me dad, me mum, me sister, and me daughter. Not Sparky. One further thing. You said that Grey Babe's friends work at the morgue. Which morgue? The morgue at the dispensary. I must say, they got a funny job. They wash the dead, dress them, cut their hair. They clean the blood off the floor, chase the rats, stamp on the cockroaches. Okay, we get it. I'm kind of you, feeling I nauseous, actually. Soup. There isn't a certain curse amongst the employees. Listen, we didn't play for info about the whole city. I'm not telling you anything else. The dispensary has got its own morgue. Interesting. Well, yeah, okay. I just told you so. It's the one that all the undertakers prefer. Think about it. It's just next to the cemetery. Thank you. Well, I guess that makes sense, even though that cemetery sucks. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta go back to the disp- wait. This is the dispensary. <laughs> I would have went all the way around town for no reason. Alright, so now let's go talk to the the good doctor's friend. Did you notice that, Holmes? Because I was looking for it. Alright. You, tell me your secrets. How can I help you? Everything. You can tell me everything. Do you know a certain Grape Ape? Grape Ape! No, grape Ape! I've never heard of him. And I would certainly remember a name like that. <laughs> and a certain Kurtz. He works here. You realize that the morgue employees are sent to us from the workhouse to carry out the bodies and clean up any infectious waste. You know, like they the plague. Oh, wait, no. The plague was many, many, many years ago. I see. All right, well, tell me about the morgue. Tell me, Doctor. Do you have a morgue in your dispensary? Yes, it is the busiest place in the building. <laughs> we would I like would hope so. It. The door at the far end. The one with the unpleasant smell. I wonder why it's so unpleasant. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. No. Fuck you. How about that? Wait. I see something. 
This stove is hardly working. That would explain the damp around here. The Incredible. damp around here? My colleague could at least keep a good fire going for his patients. <laughs> Bitch, please. These people look I dead already. I sick lying here. This person is very quiet. Not surprising, Holmes. This person is too weak. She's obviously suffering from malnutrition, and for more than a few weeks now. Okay, so these people are basically sitting here waiting to die. Awesome. Just what I like to hear. Look, Holmes. A list of the recently dead. How sad. Hmm. I see names that have something in common. Oh, common names, you say, Holmes. A uh, list of recently dead from the morgue. I I don't see anything. Holmes, tell me. No? Okay, fine, whatever. Probably something. I understand now why my colleague keeps quiet about his morgue. This place is a real mess. Well, no offense, would you really want to keep a place like this clean? clues about Grape Ape's friends. Grape Ape, Grape Ape. That is like the worst name to have in this game. I'm going to be making fun of it so hard. Well, Kurtz. This Holmes, this is Kurtz. We've just found one of the Bishop of Nicebridge's murderers. Do we really know that? He's I need something. Uh, I can't do anything, so. I need. I get it. You need something. What do you need? I don't. All I have is my knife. I. I. Oh, I don't see anything else. I think we're good. So wait, am I am I out of items? Yeah, all I have is my pocket knife and my matches. Huh. Yes, I know that. So, okay, so that's the only other thing. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Look at the state of the instruments. They've probably never been cleaned. Good. I don't want my dead bodies to be cleaned. Alright, so now that we got these. Um. Perfect. Whoa, wait, I missed what it said! Can we. Can we. A small metal stem. Okay. Two keys. Well, well. This Kurtz was carrying a lot of things. Well, that's good. But I missed what the first thing was. Hold on, let's see. Scissors, no. Hold on, we'll find it. Here we go. Uh, plan. Probably something important. All right, so we're all done here. I guess we're all done here. What should we do next, we Holmes? We find the place indicated with the cross on the map we found in the morgue. Oh God! All right, so I'm going to need to get out of this hole. All right. So let's look at the thing. Hmm. Can I zoom in on that? Oh god, I didn't want to go there. Alright, so I can't zoom in on that. Alright, so if that's the main street, let's actually go outside. It's probably easier if we go outside first. Okay, so... How can I help you? No, we don't need anything. See you soon. No, screw you. How about that? Okay, so we have to find this place. It's on main. It's on the main street. I'm just gonna call it Main Street because I don't really know. Whitechapel Street, I guess. Uh, uh all right. Could you tell me some different information, game? Like, oh, uh, to solve this puzzle, you must first find the monkey. 
that stole the necklace in the beginning. Alright, so. Let's take a look. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode off. Unless this building is it. White chap. No, I couldn't be so lucky. Alright, so we're going to end this episode off here. Next time on... Ooh, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything. Oh, maybe. This shop has been looted. This shop. Okay, that doesn't really help either. All right, just gonna end it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Next time on Sherlock Holmes, we'll figure out what this stupid napkin means, and hopefully figure it out. See you guys later. And the man with long arms drags her in, and I think he breaks her legs. Well, that's a quest, Jack. Oh. I do really like out camping. He's so funny. Oh, see, parasol.